Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today we're diving into the boldest leap in Japan's naval engineering since World War II, the Mogami-class frigate. Sleek, stealthy, and unapologetically high-tech. In this episode, we'll break down how this modular ghost ship is redefining Japan's maritime strategy and why Australia just signed up for a copy. Buckle up, we're navigating through a warship so smart it might just replace half the crew. You think all frigates are created equal? Think again. The Mogami's basically a ninja in ho form, fast, quiet, and carrying more firepower than your average destroyer. And now Australia wants its own. But will that decision turn the tide or sink under its own political weight? To understand the Mogami class, we've got to jump back to the Cold War era, when Japan's maritime doctrine was more about coastal defense and less about power projection. Naval warfare back then was about clunky hulls with lots of noise and very few secrets, the antithesis of what Mogami represents today. It wasn't until the 2010s that Japan, facing mounting regional threats and tired of playing second fiddle in blue water strategy, greenlit what would become the Mogami Project. Engineers had a field day and a headache. Modular construction? Sure. Stealth hull with reduced radar cross-section? Why not? But getting it all under a tight budget, that was the real enemy. The Mogami class measures 133 meters long, displaces about 3,900 tons standard and 5,500 tons fully loaded, with a Kodak propulsion system combining Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and diesels, pushing over 30 knots. Its armament includes a 127 millimeter Mark 45 Mod 4 naval gun, 16 MK-41 VLS cells reserved for future missile integration, Type 17 SSM-2 anti-ship missiles, and a sophisticated towed array plus hull-mounted sonar setup for anti-submarine warfare. The crew? Just 90, half the usual size, thanks to automation that runs everything from combat systems to damage control. Imagine a high-end bar run by two bartenders and a busboy. Welcome to future naval ops. Mogami isn't just stealthy, it's flexible. Modular mission bays allow it to switch roles rapidly. Anti-submarine warfare, air defense, patrol, you name it. It supports the SH-60K Seahawk helicopter with dipping sonar and torpedoes, extending its reach. The AESA radar, likely OPY-2, combined with a low radar cross-section from its angular hull and enclosed masts, keeps it a ghost until it strikes. Australia noticed. In 2024, Canberra revised its hunter-class frigate design, drawing heavily from Mogami's lightweight, modular concept, a clear sign the Indo-Pacific is shifting towards flexible, survivable warships. No combat yet, but the Mogami's presence already shapes Indo-Pacific naval strategy. With Taiwan Strait and South China Sea tensions rising, stealthy, automated frigates like Mogami may be the blueprint for 21st century naval dominance. Australia's embrace of these design philosophies signals a wider regional adaptation to new maritime threats. Yes, Mogami is sleek and smart, but it's not perfect. Reduced crew means fewer hands in emergencies. 16 VLS cells are solid, but not spectacular compared to larger frigates or destroyers. It's overbuilt for peacetime navies, but underutilized in combat readiness. Plus, this tech-heavy ship comes with a hefty price tag. 
procurement delays, cost overruns, and the complexity of modular parts maintenance make it a logistical headache, not exactly a cheap thrill. Innovation or overkill? Mogami is part ninja, part Swiss army knife, and part spreadsheet nightmare. Japan built it to send a message, one that's echoing across the Pacific. Whether it becomes a naval benchmark or just another cool prototype depends on how Japan, Australia, and others use it. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like, subscribe, and share. What would you upgrade on the Mogami? More guns? Bigger crew? Drop your tactical takes in the comments. Thanks for hanging with Military Forces Unleashed. You keep this channel running smoother than a Mitsubishi LM2500 turbine. Until next time, stay alert, stay sarcastic, and keep sailing through the weird and wild world of military tech. Remember, oceans are deep, but defense budgets are deeper. Catch you on the next mission.